Uh, last week, you may remember, I, I brought up the story of Shane Pinto, a player with the Ottawa Senators, suspended 41 games for opening up a betting account in the States and, and having a buddy of his log in. That was last week. Things yesterday got weirder. Uh, the Sens parted ways with their GM, longtime GM Pierre Dorian. This comes after the NHL took away the team's first round draft pick following a voided deal for a player named Evgeny Dadunov. Ottawa originally dealt Dadunov to Vegas, but they didn't tell Vegas that the player had a 10 team no trade list. Vegas only found out about this when last March, March of 2022, to be precise, they tried to trade the player and he went, no, no, no pas de trade. I can't go to Anaheim because we have a no trade. And they were like, what are you talking about? So the Sens are going to have a first rounder stripped. Dorian was fired yesterday. Michael Ann Lauer is the brand new owner of the Sens. He's been on the job 30 days. And yesterday at his press conference, he was not happy with Commissioner Gary Bettman. Watch this. Why I inherited this is, is beyond me. Like, there's no reason for it to last that long. Um, I knew about it through the due diligence process, and it was basically, uh, from the seller's perspective, it was, it was really a non-issue. So, <laughs> I don't know if first round is a non-issue to you guys, but it is to me. Again, that gentleman was part of a group that spent a billion dollars to buy the team, and they weren't told any of this was going on. Uh, this is messy. I think, Dorian sh I think Dorian deserves to be fired because they haven't made the playoffs since 2017. The Pinto story was weird. And when you add this, if I'm a new owner, I don't want this. I don't want to deal with this. And I think this actually starts a new chapter for the Sens. Listen, you've got to break some eggs to make an omelet. And I think whatever the Eugene Melnick era was, that has to be left behind. This is the last remnants of it. This can be a positive. But I've never seen a new owner, Devo, 30 days on the job, basically calling Commissioner Gary Bettman out like that. This is unprecedented in NHL history. Well, I think he's also calling out the previous ownership. That's yeah, what I take from that as well. He said, you know, I was, he said, I was aware of it because I did my due diligence. But I was told it wasn't an issue. When I buy a condo, I don't know if this is the same thing, and the old owners didn't disclose something, and I didn't do the work to find out that now I have to fix something later on because I'm the new owner. But the leagues could have brought that up, too. Like, like a lot of people but could have told But maybe the league Michael didn't Landlauer realize what they were going to penalize them as of that oh, point. Oh, no one thought it was a first-rounder. This is a shocking decision. And that's You're the right. thing. So, yeah, yes. you could be upset about that, but there are consequences to that, and you knew that happened. So I get being kind of upset about it, but that was, those are the consequences to the mistake, or the, not the mistake, the shadiness that you did, or your team did, and that group did, that you just took over. Yeah. So you got to deal with those. I'm with you on that. For mm -hmm. first rounder is steep in any sport. Yeah. Steep. That's a big, big penalty. But if you're not going to, if you're just going to not tell teams about contractual obligations you made to a player, mm -hmm. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Just generally, Mayor, to have an owner 30 days on the job after buying a team for a billion dollars that upset, probably not a good look. Is Ryan Reynolds right now just like, phew? Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> I didn't get yep. involved with that. I didn't, yeah, I mean, look, this is certainly not my area of expertise, but I, I don't mind someone calling it like it is. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm sort of, uh, if, if you're going to be put into that position, you know, he's not, he's not uh, taking any prisoners about it. I mean, he's making it known that's not uh, okay with him. There's going to be some changes around here. And, yeah, like you said, you got to, what do you say? You got to break some eggs to make an omelet? Yeah, yeah, yeah I like that. That makes sense to me. Who is he mad at? I think, well, clearly Pierre like, Dorian because he fired him. He yesterday. has to be mad that's at that one. person. 100% that's wanted. But, but I, I saw a lot of venom spewed at the National Hockey League yesterday because his, his big, again, in that quote why, he because said. Because they let that go on? If this was a March 2022 issue, mm -hmm. why is this on my plate when I just gave you a billion dollars? How do we not take care of this ahead of time? How do we not negotiate this further? Why right. is it not a second round pick? Why is it not a third round pick? He has a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. And I just, no one in hockey, like I heard Elliot Freeman of Sports and I talk about this on 32 Thoughts. No one in the game thought Gary Bettman would punish a new owner who's 30 days in like that. No one thought that was possible. Mm -hmm. And the, league are, the league's going, whoa. Now, I think, I'm fine with that. You can't be shady. You're right. No, Shady's the, punishment the word. I'm fine the with crime. Yeah. The punishment fits the crime, but the politics of a new owner is what it is. Right. The Shane Pinto thing, 41 games for opening a betting account and not betting on hockey, the more I think about it, that's ridiculous. Mm. That is a ridiculous suspension. I thought that was way over the top. This I'm fine with, but hockey fans in Ottawa, I know it's a weird day. I know it's a weird week. I know it's been a weird week, uh, several years. 
This is the start of good things. You have an owner that's not going to take any garbage, and he's going to call people out. I think it's healthy. It's time to move on. The Sens will get there one day. I don't know when that day is, but the Sens will get there one day, and eventually you'll have a new arena. Okay, we'll see what happens with the Sens tomorrow. Interesting story. We're going to take Leafs. a break. Go, go Leafs. <laughs> Sorry, go, go I Leafs. say it. I believe I'm wearing I blue and white. It. So go, go Leafs. Go Leafs. Go. They're in Boston tonight. Big game.